So for today, we're going to be looking at the Assassin's Creed armor for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the Assassin's Creed armor. It's right here. If you guys want to check it out, we also did do the Hunter version of this video. So if you guys want to check that one, I'll have it here as well. Uh, really good videos. I really like the Hunter one. Uh, and for the Assassin's Creed armor review, we literally just look at the armor, how it shaders and my thoughts on it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, Titans, let's get into it because I am really happy about this video. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet for this one. I ended up going with an off color look. So if you guys don't know, Reefer Galia has gold in it. The unfortunate part is that it, it is an off color. So that is why I'm using some of the pieces that I'm using. So for the helmet, obviously Wolf Kissed Helm is what we're using because that's kind of like the theme. And this is really funny because I already use the arms, which is the second chance uh, gauntlets or second chance, just short. Uh, I already used this in a previous set. So that set I'm going to use for I'm going to use another thing, but I wanted to use it because I think it goes really well with the solstice plate resplendent. And the reason I'm using the solstice plate resplendent is because you guys can actually see at the bottom of the chest piece, there is uh, like a gold trim and that doesn't change color. So I just kind of wanted to have some gold in there and I really didn't want to fight it. Since I'm using the second chance gauntlets, uh, I just kind of didn't want to fight anything at all. So again, solstice plate, because I'm using the second chance, I think both of them really meld well together. For the boots, Desolation Diver Greaves was a choice I made specifically because there is some gold on the knee pads, but also because I wanted some purple in there and the purple flame or whatever it's called. I think that looks really cool. So that's why I'm using it. And then the Desolation Diver Mark. Uh, I am using two pieces of the same set, which I totally didn't even notice until now, but I still really, really like it. And the fact that the Desolation Diver Mark uses a lot of the off color in the with that gold is main reason why I'm using it. If I were to switch something out, it would most likely just be the boots. But I think as a whole, this looks really, really cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, this is utilizing the off color of Reef Regalia, which is why I'm using because to be fair, this all started because the helmet uh, uses a lot of off colors. If you guys can see uh, the like actual like face plate of it has gold even on the sides of it as well. So instead of like fighting it or trying to do something else, I was just like, fuck it. Let's just lean into it and find other pieces that have off color pieces, uh, which to be fair, the only piece that really has a lot of off color is the bond or the mark and the boots have like a tinge. And when I mean a tinge, I mean, literally the knee pads are the only thing there and the arms don't even have anything there. I think aside from some of the shoulder pieces, but. Yeah, that's the first one. I wanted to start off strong because I do think this looks really, really cool. And if Second Chance uh, ever gets to be like meta, then this is the set I will be wearing. For the arms, this is interesting because I ended up using the Nemean ne Helm. And the Nemean Helm I use a lot in this set. I think I switched it out uh, for a new set. I'll, we'll see when we get there. But Nemean Helm was an easy choice because I am trying to go for like a Valkyrie type feel, I guess you would say for the arms, Wolf Kiss Gauntlets. Obviously, we're using the Assassin's Creed armor and then for the chest piece Lycan plate specifically because it has fur on the like neck and I wanted some fur in here, which is why I'm also using the Iron Forerunner mark. And then this is pretty interesting because we're using the Mark 44 Sanicides uh, because of like just how ornamental it is. And I, I think this looks super dope. The reason I'm using Night Chill is because it does a good job at combining the furs, which if you guys don't know, uh, Lycan plate, the fur on the neck actually has a different color to the arms and to the uh, mark. So I wanted to find a shader that was like close enough to each of them. And I think Night Chill is a really good choice. Not only that, I really like the colors of Night Chill, which it's one of my favorite shaders in the game. So overall, I really do think this one is a banger as well. Uh, I do use Mark 44 standicides as well. So this is probably a set I would use, but I don't have a dedicated build for that. So I would most likely have to switch out for like, um, D Dune Marchers most likely. As for the chest piece, this is pretty interesting because I have technically two sets. They are from different videos, uh, which I will post right now. This one specifically, the one you're looking at is from the Iron Companion Titan set video which again, I'll have it up right now. This one is basically, we're just looking at all of the Iron Companion pieces and making armor sets, basically what we're doing here, but for the Iron Companion pieces. And 
again, I really, really like this set. This is, I, I spoke about it in that video. And if, again, check it out if you want to see me gush about it in more depth. The other one is going to be for the Broken Dreams ornament for Precious Scars. And this one was really cool because I absolutely love the color combination of Sinking Feeling. I also love the fact of like the Iron Companion Greaves with the Iron Forerunner mark. I think that's a cool combination. Um, I'm not going to have the like full look of it, like how I usually do my builds. I'll just have like a picture and some of the stuff here. I'm not going to have my character rotating because I don't have the file anymore. And honestly, this one is it's like an either or type of situation. Like I have this set or I have the other and that's really it. So for the chest, I don't want to talk too much because again, I've made two videos about it. And for the precious scar videos, I'll have it up right now. Again, I really like that set a lot. It's probably one of my more favorite sets that I've made with the chess piece aside from, I don't know, it's really hard because I, I think both of them are really, really cool. But yeah, check out those videos you go, if you want to see me like speak about it in more depth. For the boots, I, this is pretty funny because I did have another set for the boots that I switched out because I didn't want to use the same piece from the same video because I already did that for the chess piece and I didn't want to do it for like almost all the pieces. So for this one, I decided to go with the Lycan Gauntlets and Meridian Constellation combo. I think these, this combo is super, super dope. And I do crutch on it a bit because it just looks really, really cool. This is where it gets interesting, though. The Thunderous Impact Mark, I think, looks really, really cool with the Meridian Constellation because it looks like almost the same type of padding, which is why I'm using it. And then obviously for the boots, Wolf Kiss Greaves is an easy choice considering that's the piece we're using. But for the helmet, we're using the Mask of the Quiet one. I really, really like this helmet aesthetically. Too bad, like, it's not that great, but aesthetically, it looked really, really cool. For the shader, we're using Gambit Jade Stone for most of these pieces, aside from the Iron Fusite for the arms, specifically because uh, not only does it give me a rich green for the fur, but it also combines the pauldrons into one color because if you guys don't know, the Lycan gauntlets actually don't have this. They don't shader the same for the gauntlets or for the uh, pauldrons. I mean, uh, they actually shader differently. And for some reason, Iron Fussite combines both of them, which is really, really cool. So this one I really, really like. I, I definitely do recommend this if Mask of the Quiet one ever gets a buff or just gets reworked, which I hope it does, uh, because I think this, this is a banger, uh, very, very much a banger. And then last but not least, this is really weird. I usually never, never do this, but I did make two sets for the Wolf Kissed Mark. And I never do marks because usually they're not that unique for me to go out of my way to do something. But I did make one for the Iron Companion video, which it was for the boots. Again, that video is right here. Check it out. But uh, I'm going to show you the Iron Companion set first because that's the one that I did. And be aware that I'm going to be using the Iron Companion Greaves again, but just in a different style, because again, this is the one that I made first for the second chance arms. So that's why I ended up just making a new set because I didn't want to use the same arms because again, the first set has those arms and I think the first set looks way better. So for the new set, we're going to be using the Lordly Homage ornament for the Doomfang Pauldrons because I wanted to go with Stalwart Tenant and I think the orange for Stalwart Tenant it's pretty good with the orange of the horn because the orange of the horn doesn't change color. My only gripe with this set is I could have done a better job with the chest piece because I don't think the chest piece looks really good with the fur. That's really it. It's just the fur doesn't like coincide with each other. To be fair, Devastation Complex fur doesn't change color. So at that point, uh, you could probably use some of the crucible ornaments like the old ones. Those actually do, do change the color of the fur or you could just use another chess piece that has fur on it specifically like maybe just use the chess piece from the wolf kiss set i think that would look really cool and just try to find the same brown other than that for the helmet nightly noir helm i really like this helmet i'm crutching on it hard um and then the same combo iron iron companion greaves with wolf kiss mark i think looks really cool so that's pretty much it i really like this set but if i'm gonna be quite honest with you guys i think the first set is like a literal banger i think the first and second set are amazing and definitely like probably the best pieces from this whole video so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i personally really really like the first set i think the first set is such a banger because reef Galia, and you never really you see the gold because again the gold is the off color and i think i did an amazing job with that the second one is also kind of really cool for me personally because it just kind of fits that aesthetic for me where it's just 
she's like this bulked out valkyrie who's like making sure enemies are dying and getting like uh allies to like uh, valhalla i think it for me that that like aesthetic just looked really really cool and the like wings and the and the helmet just really give off that vibe not saying the third set is bad i i love the third set the third set i still think is an amazing set that i made this season and i don't know like i think if i were to choose like i think the like the last set the one with the, the wolf kissed mark i think that one's the weakest one and then it would be the mask of the quiet one even though i still think it looks amazing but all of these are bangers in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments below again warlocks you guys will have your video out soon hopefully by the end of, or by the end of this tuesday hopefully it will have it out but yeah let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later